my fellow introverts welcome back to my channel it's a girl here back with another commentary video guys i'm here with another episode of attack on titan the last episode season three finale guys i'm excited last episode we got more of grisha's story how he made it to the wall how he took the titan the owl's titan how he only had 13 years to live and then he passed it on to Eren and now Eren has 8 years, Armin has um, his 13 years now. Mikasa could not handle the knowledge that Eren is gonna die in the next 8 years. She could not believe it. So I am thinking Mikasa is gonna get one of the 9 as well to go out with Eren. <laughs> we also saw that Eren like, saw a lot of his dad's memories firsthand. He was in his dad's body. He got his dad's memories, and then there was that that moment. He figured out that to in order to be a good conduit and to control Titans, he will need a turned Titan with royal blood. And he doesn't want to tell anyone because he might put his story slash Krista in danger, which is kind of him, you know. Don't let me so find out though; she will rip him apart. <laughs> um, it's. It's going to be interesting. Oh, and then there's that one one part at the end of the episode where it kind of seemed like Eren's memories meld with Grisha's for a moment. Or the all was kind of psychic. He was like, my, my memories. Because there was a moment when um he said he has to protect Mikasa and Armin. So I think it's something along the lines of Eren's memory like melded with Grisha's. Huh, I think so. So now the last episode, episode 59 of season 3, is the other side of the wall. Now everyone knows for sure after reading Grisha's books that there is a society out there and they're gunning for the people behind the wall. They want like all the smoke. They know that, they know there's a sea. And I'm sure everyone is going to now, the scouts are really going to scout and explore. Um, maybe go to the ocean or something. I don't know. I don't know where it's going to go. But we're close to catching up with everyone else. And believe there's just one more season, season four. And that's part one and two. And that's the final season. So I'm really excited. Really nervous. I... I don't even know what to say about this. It's going to be crazy and I'm excited. So I don't even want to talk anymore, guys. I want to get right into this video. Guys, let's get it. Throughout history, this Titans marched in the vanguard. It has ever pushed forward, seeking freedom. And for freedom's sake, it fights. Therefore, it's called the Attack Titan. It's called the Attack Titan. Pure Titans once in the past to escape from a dire situation. If someone with royal blood is turned into a Titan, then it might be possible for me to use the Founding Titan's powers while touching them. But if the military knew it was a possibility, what would they do to Historia? You have to see this through. Complete your mission and save Mikasa and Armin. Mikasa? Armin? Who are they? I, you see this part? I don't know. They aren't from my memory. This was like a melding of memories. Unless this like reaches, that moment reaches even like breaking through reality almost. It's weird. I don't know. It's kind of like a, a wall, a fourth wall break almost. Our foe is the world. That information. Hardly the world, you know? The world is large. It's just one thing. Probably like a continent, <laughs> another country, maybe. I don't, I don't even think because they probably they are just like on an island. So I don't know. I don't know if they like it has like a little link to the thing. I feel like they're in the same waters, and it's near. I don't know. That we keep our citizens complacent and blind as the late king did. If we do that, then by what ideals did we oppose King Rice? What right did we have to seize his crown? Give me my box. I guess time the public know. Denounce it. It's only fair. This is information that the people once knew before my predecessor stole it from them. 
As the people of the walls, all of us will share the same fate. I mean, which I is why we must now unite as one and work together. Human. They're known as subjects of Emir or Eldians, and we share a common ancestry. When our king erected these walls 100 years ago, he altered our memories using Titan powers so as to make us think that beyond the walls, humanity had gone extinct. That is trifling, though. I know the article's already published, but is all of this as credible as you claim? At the very least, it addresses most of the doubts and questions that we've had this whole time. So she really lost her eye. Appreciate it. So how are people taking the news? It's a mixed bag. Some just accept it, some laugh it off, some lash out at the military and insist it's all a great conspiracy. Just as you feared, things have become somewhat chaotic. Makes sense. But there's really no helping that. It's our job to explore and report our findings. The taxpayers can treat that information as they will. I couldn't be prouder of the work you've done. Huh? Not only as a citizen of the walls. That is crazy. That is awesome as well. And this is the scouts doing. And Ervin is like the gold right now. He did all of this. All of this is possible because he wanted a truth and he thought the people deserve the truth. As well as he came up with all the plans. Some crazy ass plans, but you know. Ervin did a lot for the current society. I'm really interested to see how they're gonna end this show off. You know, I really thought it was longer. But um, it feels like it just flew by. I mean, I feel like I also been watching Attack on Titan like forever, but I feel like the time has just flown by watching it. And it's such a great anime. Like, I, I almost don't want it to end. But I hope it ends on a happy note. I have to ask, what happens to us now? We've looked at the Titans with fear, with hate, with the wish in our hearts that they would disappear forever. And now we've learned that this is how the people of the world look at us. We're not human to them. That's tough. We're monsters. They keep saying the rest of the world. The world is so large. They need to see the rest. This hell will repeat itself until the last of us are dead. Oh, that's sad. Well, if it isn't the brave heroes of the walls. Hitch. <laughs> Surprised you came. Aw, she lost her bow. Marlo was very brave right to the end. You should tell her. Yeah, sure. I rode right beside Marlo. Just like me, he joined as an urgent recruit. But unlike me, he was brave and a natural leader. Just as our fear was giving way to panic and despair, he stepped in That's and inspired us to push on. Yeah. He was an amazing person. I know, and that's why. But in the end, I'm sure he wished that he'd never volunteered. Thanks for that. I'll laugh if you guys screw up the ceremony. Hey, why did you tell her that? Because... Somebody has to speak the truth around here. Oh. You should be dead, and Ervin should stand in your place. I'm not alone in thinking that. Okay, whatever. All of us do. Who's... Everyone who read that report had the same thought. Who's all of us? Why wasn't Ervin the one that was saved? Oh. okay. I mean, it's not like... What do you know about Armin to justify right? saying that? Not a damn thing! But I can still tell you why he's the one standing here now. It's because you two got emotional and Captain Levi did the same. Ooh, you want a small bitch? All right. I think it's time you shut your mouth. Yeah, bitch. Aaron, just leave him be, all right? At least Mikasa acted like an adult out there. I saw her give up in the end. Ooh. <sighs> you had to sit up. You didn't have to say it like that either. Jesus. Hey, Flock. Let's not do this during a memorial for our fallen comrades. As for you two, you might not have acted against your superiors, but you didn't try to stop Aaron and Mikasa either. You didn't do anything but watch. 
When you guys start rebuilding the Survey Corps, you better tell your recruits the truth. Or else you'll just end up with cowards like me in the ranks. What the hell are we supposed to do now that we've lost Ervin? He's annoying. This is, this is not, this is not the time or the place. And to decide if this cause is worth dying for. Well, go, hang up your shit then. You're annoying. Regardless, it's not, it's not Armin's fault that he got saved. Okay, he didn't say, yeah, put this shit in my arm. He was just dying. And he, Flock, or whatever his name is, making it seem like it's Armin's fault. And I just, I don't want, I don't know if it's the emotional part of me that's saying, yeah, Armin deserved a syringe. I mean, he's a brave and smart man as well. He doesn't have Irvin's experience, no. But at the end of the day, Irvin would have gotten old. He, he would have his 13 years, sure, of course. And he would have been as, he would have regenerative powers as well. So he would have got his arm back. But I feel like he was already tired and he might have wanted, you know, the next generation to take his place. He, the man was done. <laughs> he, he seemed like he was over it. You know, at least this is how the anime made it seem. So I don't know. Everyone's angry, Maybe he but they turn this situation around. I can't. Um, it's a shitty thing to do. How can you be so sure of that? To blame Armin. I don't know what choice was right, so I won't pretend to. None of us know what the future might hold. I mean, we can barely imagine. Think about it. If we rode straight from Walmaria, what would we find? The sea. Yeah, that's right. We'd find the sea. A place we've only dreamed about. Water that glows like fire, fields of ice, giant rocks that take days to climb. How can we be sure of anything when there's so much we haven't seen yet? So much you don't know. On the other side of the wall, freedom is... All right, you brats. It's time. Line up. Harsh. What did we find in that cellar? Was it hope? Or was it just despair? I think it was smoke. <laughs> it was smoke. <laughs> because it's time to go to war. Real war. King of the Walls! I beg you, kill the titans attacking Walmaria, please, before my wife and children are, before thousands of your people are eaten alive. Still say no. Wow. Aaron? Don't transform. Oh, that was a very scary face. Months later, when the snow started melting, the military formally announced that Walmaria had been cleansed of Titans at last. By the time the elevators on Trost's walls were freed for use, and work had begun on paving the main road, there were flowers in bloom, and butterflies dancing between them. Maria's refugees were finally permitted to return to their homes. Roughly a year after what had been called humanity's first victory in Trost. Six years after the Colossal Titan's first devastating attack. The scouts resumed their expeditions. Then let's push straight forward. Exactly as we planned. Oh, nigga, get a haircut. What is going on? <laughs> What is going on? A very wholesome scene though. The Titan just comes out. <laughs> just uh, slapping them around. Oh, a Titan! A titan! So one actually showed up? Let's take a look! Oh, I think this is a trap. See, no, they... Doesn't look like it can move much. No, they know it's people, so it's Even like... with those limbs, it still tried to drag itself to the wall. Bit by bit. Hey, careful! It was shipped to paradise. 
Which means it's a fellow patriot. <laughs> Let's go. We're close. Y'all don't want to kill it? Shouldn't somebody kill it? Okay, Aaron seems so older now. <laughs> Oh, they writing out yet. They said that we want to check y'all out too. We want to check y'all out too. Up the wall. They made it. So you see, it's probably a couple of days. Oh, away. Nigga, y'all like neighbors at this point. <laughs> Which means just up there. Is the sea. Oh my God, are we going to see the sea? Niggas in there got cars and airships. Y'all on horses. <laughs> Damn. Ah, oh, they seen it. Oh my god. Why do I feel so emotional right now? Someone jump in. <laughs> that water look blue as hell. <laughs> oh, no one ever seen anything like that before. That's so cool. You see, he's seen it in his memories. Damn, it's like a spoiler. It was like a spoiler, so it's terrible. <sighs> Don't they got niggas behind the wall though? I could like see them? Oh, we just don't care about that. We got two titans on lock. Ow, my eyes, they burn! <laughs> That's salty! What the hell? Wow, is this actually full of salt water? Huh? What could that be? Hey, Hanji, you shouldn't touch it. It might be poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is so cute. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh. You see, Aaron? It's just like I told you. Aaron got too much weight on his shoulders right now. So big that merchants could spin their own. Oh lord. And still not get all the salt. I think I've seen it already. That's what I said we'd find. Now it looks like I was right. And they don't even care. Hey, it's like you said too. On the other side of the wall. There's a sea. <laughs> and just across that sea, freedom's waiting. That's what I always believed, at least. Nigga just disappointed. Lord. I was wrong. I know what's waiting across the sea now. It's our enemies. Oh. So they're across the sea. Okay, okay. It's been exactly as it was in my father's memories. No, just give him smoke. Oh, go in the other direction? I don't know. If we did cross the sea, and we killed our enemies, after that... Would we finally be free? Nigga, no, you die. But, you know, life's what you make it, man. He killed the vibe. He killed the whole vibe. He destroyed it. <laughs> that was unnecessary, Erin. We already know life sucks. <laughs> Let's see if there's any end credits. Oh, the score, though. What's this? Chef's Kiss. Ooh. I'm a big fan of scores. Beautiful music, guys. Okay, it seems like it may have an end credit. Nigga is distraught. He even combed his hair. He cut it. Nothing. In forever. Oh, this is all we get? What an ending to a fantastic season. This season had such ups and downs. It had such great reveals. I like the information we got. Um, I got teary eyed at the, the deaths and the loss and I'm going to miss those characters and now we're going into season four and I'm here guys. I'm catching up. Um, I'm going to be with it with everyone. I'm really excited to see what becomes of Aaron. He seems so um, distraught and brooding. <laughs> he seems like a very big brooder now. You know, he lost a lot of hope, I guess, knowing what his dad been through, knowing who, what his brother did, and witnessing it firsthand through the body of his father. Like, how do you just 
like that moment he was trying to give Armin hope and stuff and he got images of his aunt his aunt that died too young got eaten by dogs because she was Eldian it's just like we still gotta fight we still have work to do so much work to do we thought we get rid of these titans over here and then we'll be okay but no there's a bigger world and across that sea it's enemies there's a ton of enemies but i don't want to believe that that patch of the world is all there is obviously the world is round and it's big and i'm assuming this is how the world works in this anime so i'm hoping we get more of the world and not just this community i feel like there's more so it's like is the whole the whole world really their enemies or just this country this continent right here just they want the smoke there are obviously other countries somewhere people that value other things the aliens maybe have a sanctuary somewhere else you know i'm very curious about that i'm very interested to see what becomes of mikasa and armin <laughs> erin <laughs> And we just like trample on everyone's happiness and joy at the end there. And it's kind of disappointing to see that moment get tarnished, but you know, tarnished by reality. But you know, that's just how life works. You might not want to know something, but the hard truth is that, <laughs> yeah, this is how their life is going to be and what they're going to have to do. So I hope um, season four is as great as season three. Season three blew my mind, made me tear up didn't cry and yeah guys down in the description box below there's links to my what past stories guys check those out as well as links to my book recommendation website guys check that out as well subscribe and get a free e-course guys as well as awesome deals and coupons for barnes and noble as well as feature access to the amazon hub so yeah guys that's it for attack on titan season three until next time